Proto Labs is the world's fastest manufacturer of custom prototype and low to mid volume production parts for product developers globally. Real parts, really fast. Proto Labs utilizes CNC machining and injection molding to manufacture custom metal and plastic parts for its customers. For more information, visit protolabs.com. Welcome to The Pulse, brought to you by MDT TV. Hello Spoon is an assistive device technology developed for those who are unable to feed themselves. It is meant to offer caregivers a break during a meal or to give an alternative to those who don't like to have another person feeding them. The device is coupled with a smartphone app that poses questions to the user such as, are you ready to eat breakfast now? The questions asked are randomly generated and based on the time of day. The attempt here is to make the feeding experience an enjoyable one for the user as the integrated system can play music during the meal or it can cheer on the person eating if so desired. Obviously some aspects are more geared to a younger audience, but the functionality of this technology makes it appropriate for any aged user. Additionally, the price point is such that it is a significantly lower cost than similar technologies. Diabetic macular edema is the most frequent cause of vision loss in individuals with diabetes and the leading cause of blindness in young and middle-aged adults in developed countries. Approximately 560,000 people in the U.S. are estimated to have clinically significant DME. Illuvian is an injectable microinsert that provides sustained treatment through continuous delivery of a sub-microgram dose of a therapeutic for 36 months. While the thought of an implantable drug delivery device being injected into my eye brings me to a new level of squeamish, it's certainly a better alternative to going blind. The device is expected to be commercially available in the U.S. in early 2015. ResMed, a leading innovator of sleep technologies, has introduced the S Plus, the world's first non-contact sleep system. This solution uses biomotion sensors designed to measure an individual's sleep stages and environment and deliver personalized feedback that helps improve sleep. Without requiring any type of wearable component, S Plus monitors breathing patterns and body movements. The system also captures the light, noise, and temperature levels in the room and allows consumers to log factors such as caffeine and alcohol intake, as well as exercise to analyze patterns over time and deliver personalized sleep strategies. The data can be shared with the user's smartphone or other mobile devices. Concussions have become a big topic in the news over the last couple of years, and while we are still looking for methods to prevent their occurrence, technologies are being developed to help monitor them better to avoid further or long-term injury. One of the latest is Jolt, a wearable sensor that allows parents and coaches to track and evaluate their children's head impacts in real time. The Jolt sensor is a small clip that can easily attach to any piece of head-worn athletic equipment, whether a helmet, headband, or goggles. When an athlete's head accelerates in a potentially dangerous way, the sensor vibrates to alert the athlete. It also connects wirelessly to parents' and coaches' smartphones to alert them on the sidelines. With a range of over 100 yards, the sensor stays connected anywhere on the field. For more medical technology news, go to mdtmag.com or get involved in the discussions at Twitter, Facebook, or LinkedIn via the links below. Until next time, I'm Sean Fenske, and this has been The Pulse. The significant, I slurred that all through. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you.